Scalar and Vector Chapters MCQS. Question 1. Which of the following is a scalar quantity? Options is a displacement, b velocity, c speed, d acceleration. Right answer is c speed. Question 2. Which of the following is a vector quantity? Options is a distance, b speed, c time, d force. Right answer is d force. Question 3. What is the magnitude of a vector? Options is a direction, b size or amount, c both a and b, d neither a nor b. Right answer is b size or amount. Question 4. Which of the following vectors can be added using the triangle law? A two vectors, b three vectors, c four vectors, d any number of vectors. Right answer is a two vectors. Question 5. What is the result of adding two vectors of equal magnitude but opposite direction? Options is a zero vector, b unit vector, c resultant vector, d none of the above. Right answer is answer a zero vector. Question 6. Which of the following is an example of a scalar product? Options is a work done, b force, c displacement, d velocity. Right answer is a work done. Question 7. What is the dot product of two vectors? Options is a scalar product, b vector product, c both a and b, d neither a nor b. Right answer is a scalar product. Question 8. Which of the following is an example of a vector product? Options is a torque, b work done, c energy, d power. Right answer is a torque. Question 9. What is the cross product of two vectors? Options is a scalar product. B. Vector product. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. Right answer is B. Vector product. Question 10. Which of the following vectors has a magnitude of 1? Options is A. Unit vector. B. Zero vector. C. Resultant vector. D. None of the above. Right answer is A. Unit vector. Question 11. What is the purpose of resolving vectors? Options is A. To find the magnitude of a vector b to find the direction of a vector c to break down a vector into components d to add vectors right answer is c to break down a vector into components question 12 which of the following is a characteristic of a scalar quantity options is a magnitude and direction b magnitude only c direction only d neither magnitude nor direction right answer is b magnitude only question 13 what is the resultant of two vectors? Options is a the sum of the two vectors, b the difference of the two vectors, c the product of the two vectors, d the vector that represents the combined effect of the two vectors. Right answer is d the vector that represents the combined effect of the two vectors. Question 14. Which of the following vectors can be represented graphically? Options is a scalar, b vector, c both a and b, d neither a nor b. Right answer is B. Vector. Question 15. What is the difference between a scalar and a vector? Options is A. Magnitude. B. Direction. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. Right answer is C. Both A and B.